joy. You're just peppy with somebody else's misery. <laughs> All I've had today is coffee. Ah, that explains it. Neil Anderson joins us now live from the new zoo in Swamco, where I'm assuming it's still raining. <laughs> we have a rain, a rain sleep mix. Okay. Oh, okay. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Versus Sounds the rain very official. Mix. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I'll tell you, it's coming down out here, and we're out. To, yeah, actually, I like to be inside there with that badger. You see the badger? She's inside her exhibit, inside her den, which is nice and warm there, nice and dry. You know, and that's one thing, you know, when you look at designing an exhibit, you know, for a badger, you got a few different standards. You've got your USDA standards that kind of govern the, you know, through the Animal Welfare Act, you know, on size and what you need to have within the exhibit. And then in some cases in, in certain states, you know, even the state of Wisconsin, you have state regulations that also dictate size and the type of structure that you use to build in a particular exhibit. If it is a, is a state animal, in this case it is, it's a, it's a badger. So when you look at this exhibit, one of the things that we had to do is because, of course, badgers are notorious for digging, you know, and that den is actually what they call the den is a set, S-E-T-T, -T, okay, and they can be very elaborate, they can be used for generations and everything, so when we design this exhibit, you see we got a lot of hollow logs and everything, so we give her multiple areas she can go into. During the summer, spring, summer, fall, should be able to do that is use multiple den sites and then it, as winter gets closer they'll use one site so we have to kind of replicate this also really quick you can take a look at the walls our concrete walls they're smooth and you'll see we notch a V in that that's so that she can't climb out and in addition because she can dig and they like to dig six eight feet down actually underneath here we have large stone but below the stone there's all chain link fence underneath here as well so she can dig down so far we got an irrigation system as well to go ahead and pull all this rainwater out here and into the pond. So she's got a pretty nice place in here. Yeah, she does. Um, and you, you still need an umbrella. Yeah, go ahead back <laughs> yes, inside. Take, Sounds good. Take a break. We'll check back with you next hour. Thanks, Neil. Hey, we'll see ya.